Hi, my name's Mark. Um, I don't make a lot of videos, I guess because I'm just lazy. Uh, but I do want to make this video. I bought, it's called the Scottish Cutlass by Windless Steelcraft. And, and I love the sword. I've had it for over a year. It really feels nice in hand. It's a big, heavy, it's a big, heavy sword. Um, and if you're a Skelebram fan, and this is a pommel from hell. If you threw that at somebody and hit him in the head, hey, I'm holding it still so you can all see this pommel's pretty heavy. It's solid. Now, I love the sword, but I do want to point something out. This sword is 1095 high carbon steel, which is very hard on the dies to put threading on. So if you look, right around here, you'll see it browns out in color a bit. I hope you will see it. Anyways, it's been well sanded though, but now I want to show you something else. If you look at the thickness, can you point it on this? If you look at the thickness of this, right, and then you go up to here, and look at how it tapers to a way thicker part down here by the threading. Right, go ahead. Okay, so as you can tell, the thickness here is thinner than the thickness here. So therefore the blade is thinner than the threaded rod, which I believe, if you can see the, the coloration here, this is a heat affected zone of a weld that they have sanded right off. Now if they do the weld right, it might not be too bad, but what my worry concern is, is the fact that this rod is probably a different steel than this here. So, to get a good weld that will pass a weld test is probably possible, but more than likely, unlikely. Can you get it there? Okay, so in short, in closing, this is the uh, Scottish Cutlass, which is actually a Dusac, um, I believe by Topeka, but sold under Windless. Uh, this rod is not part of this blade, I'll almost guarantee you. Um, don't sue me over it, but I'll almost guarantee you that this rod is of a lower carbon content than this blade, making putting the threads in much easier on the dies. So, I do love the sword. I got it from Relics in Canada. Excellent shipping, got it within a week. Um, and I'm way out here in the prairies. And uh, so I'm still happy with the sword, but I believe this makes it a rat tail tang. Um, so if anybody could put in the comments whether this qualifies as a rat tail tang or not, I'm no sword official. I'm a dumb welder. <laughs> so thank you very much, and uh, God bless.